Hey everyone, today we are talking about step two of Reader's Theater. Yesterday we did step one, which was read the book and listen or listen to the book, okay? Hear the story. So step two is make puppets of the important characters, okay? So the most important characters, you need to think about who you think the most important characters are, but I decided that I thought Jack and the giant were the most important characters. But I also thought there were some other important characters, so I decided to make a picture of the giant's wife, and I have a picture of Jack's mom. I haven't cut Jack's mom out yet, so that, that way you can see how I drew her on the page before I cut her out. Okay, so you need to make uh, puppets of the important characters in the story. Now, if you had popsicle sticks, you could tape these puppets to popsicle sticks, and that would make it easier to move them around. I don't have popsicle sticks, so I'm just leaving them as is. Okay, now you'll notice these are not perfect drawings of the characters, okay? I tried my best. I colored inside the lines. I tried to color all the white space with my crayon, okay? But you'll notice Jack's hand is kind of like a baby hand. It's not perfect, okay? Jack's, um, his face is a little bit, there's something weird going on with his lips and his nose, okay? So, it's not absolutely perfect. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just make sure that you can tell it is the right character. Okay, You can tell this is Jack and not the giant. The giant's a lot bigger than Jack. Okay, So make sure you can tell which character it is and make sure you do your best on it. Okay, So that means taking your time. We're not just scribbling them. They're not stick figures, you'll notice. They actually have legs. Okay, It doesn't have to be a perfect drawing, but do do your best. Okay, Take some time on it because we're going to use these puppets later in the week. Okay, so I did the giant, and you can tell, once again, his face is kind of fat, he doesn't have a neck. You know, it's not the best drawing I've ever done. Now you'll also notice, I didn't try to cut out the little part between his elbow, okay? I didn't try to cut out on the giant's wife. I didn't try to cut out her hands, her fingers. Okay, that's a bit much. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, just do your best. So, then my next step will be to cut out Jack's mom. And then I will be ready for the next step in Reader's Theater. Make sure you save your puppets. Find a good place to put them because later in the week we're going to be using the puppets to tell the whole story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay? I hope this helped everyone be able to draw puppets and know what they're doing for step two of Reader's Theater. Okay. So that way tomorrow we can move on. Step three is going to be making the setting, making a background for our, re our theater. So... Hope everyone is having a good day. Stay safe, wash your hands, and have fun, everybody. Enjoy the weather outside. You might go outside since it's going to be so nice and do this cutting and drawing and coloring outside. Hope everyone has a great day. Bye.